Okay, and we told you earlier that we're going to be bringing Afis Oyetoro, a.k.a. Saka, on the show today. And he's here with us. He's an entertainer, an actor, a comedian, you know. And sorry, I said he was a professor. He's actually a lecturer, you know, in one of our colleges of education. And he actually lectures, you know, theaters. But I'm going to allow him to do the introduction himself. Welcome, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Good to have you. It's you know, I'm, I'm trying so hard not to be starstruck okay. because you're one of the people who actually made my childhood yeah. fun growing up and all of that. So, who is Afis Oyetoro? Well, Afis Oyetoro is, um, is a Nigerian. Okay. Um, an average person like every other person on the street. Okay. Uh, was born in his saying. Uh, Ibadan. His saying. Or your state. Or your state. Yeah. Yes, around Ibadan. Um, about 50 something years ago. Wow. Um, well, my primary school education was in primary school, Isayin, Baptist Day School, Koso Community Grammar School, then University of Ife. Great Ife. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did my first degree. I, I did my master's in um, uh, uh, African Studies, wow. University of Ibadan. I am presently running a PhD program with the same university okay. in, Padon, uh, uh, in uh, performance studies, Institute wow. of African Studies. Wow. I lecture theater arts at Adenina Ogunsanya College of Education. That's wonderful. Well, um, I'm married okay. with kids. Okay. That's okay, all. <laughs> okay. No, good, good, good. Now, I'm go you, you said you've been, uh, you're a lecturer, yeah, yeah. you've been into entertainment. Mm. And first question, how long have you been in entertainment? Uh, 35 years. Wow. Yes. Um, I started when I was in secondary school, actually. Uh, but professionally, we can say that um, I, I started uh, in 1987 professionally okay. that time i was in i was still in the university i think i was in 200 level then well i've started when when i finished my uh, secondary school i was uh, actually doing it on a professional level with okay. a group Akewi Ebedi okay. in uh, Isay in local government okay. used to move around and all that so when i gained admission um i went into dramatic art Okay. Direct. Okay. So, uh, when I got to school, we had a group, Comic Palace Production, which is a campus comedy group. Uh, since then, I've been doing it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, concerning the comic side of you. Yeah. Growing up, was this all a part of you? You know, we hear people who we have as comedians, and people say, oh, he's just a naturally funny person. Was it something that you had to develop or get him for? Can you just say, this has been me from the start well, i don't know uh, this is me <laughs> <laughs> and it has been like this since i know of myself okay um, i am um, i think it's a natural thing uh, but then um it didn't really come out until when i left until when i when i when i left secondary school so to say um, I, I noticed that when I was in primary school, our teachers used to uh, put me in plays, you know, all, all those uh, literary and debating society drama and all that. But I became very active in drama group when I was in secondary school. However, uh, the coming out okay. did not actually uh, really come out until when I left my secondary school and I entered into the university. I had a very restricted uh, upbringing. Okay. You know, that this uh, social restriction, you know. Um, but thank God, I was able to manage it and I came out. Okay, so for acting also, mm. you know, how has it been like what you, you, your experience as an actor over the years, you know, how has it been like? You can even share with us what has your challenges as an actor been like? Well, uh, as an actor, um, it's. We thank God it, it, it was in phases. That was, a, that was a particular period in Nigeria here where the theater practitioners, you know, 
were not really recognized as human beings, as responsible human beings. Um, we were looked down upon as somebody who's not serious, somebody who... You know, it's not, it's it's not seen to be relevant. Entity, you know, yes. And all that. But as, a time, as time went on, things started to change. Then we started having celebrities, you know, popular people and all that. And okay. So, but then, as time went on, things started to change. Um, challenges are many, but they are just part of life. Everything that you want does, uh, whether you have challenges or not. I won't see them as terribly challenging. I would just see that it's part of the process of development. It's part of the process of uh, um, paying dues, you mm. know, to achieve a particular goal professionally. Um, but the recent <laughs> challenges that uh, I am having now is um, you go everywhere. I, I am a very um, outside the screen. Mm. Um, Hafiz is a quiet person. He's an introvert. Uh, he is something like that. So okay. I always like to be on my own. And so a lot of people thought I snubbed them. Oh. Uh, so um, I can't manage um, a lot of people greeting me at the same time. Saka, saka, saka. I just say hello, hello. And so uh, most of the time, I always like to dodge for the crowd. You know, I will, because I was brought up in a rural area. Uh, I like eating. Mama put all those things, you know. And <laughs> nine years, the whole nine years, the first nine years of my life uh, okay. was spent in my village, okay. village as in village. So uh, it has taken a lot of that natural freedom okay, from, from you. me, and it's really challenging, you know, oh, uh, managing okay. it. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just going to ask what are the projects that you have going on right now? All right, um, right now, I teach theater arts at uh, Daniel Gunshaw College. My department, um, we are having project, we're having a TV serial. Uh, we call it Adoni. Uh, we have uh, actually shot. We are doing the post-production here. Um, we hope that the first quarter of 2019, we're going to get it done. Uh, personally, I am also doing some um, uh, skits okay. production which um, I'm really working on. I want to produce and finish everything, uh, about 102 episodes of that. Wow. Uh, we are shooting already, um, but, you know, I'm a teacher. I work immediately after the, we just finish the exam, and then when we finish marking and all that, I go back during the holiday so that we finish it. So first week, I mean, first quarter of 2019, we'll put it, we put them online, you know, for Okay, okay, there you have it from uh, dear Afis Oyetoro, a.k.a. Saka. He has told us his story, shared with us how his background was before and after he became a star. And I know that you want us to bring him back so that we can have him whenever we want, have we? Of course, of course. Yes, of course. we're going to have him again, <laughs> and he's going to have a lot more to share with us and inspire us also. So, so how can people follow you? Well, you then my Instagram is simply Saka. Just at Simply Saka. At yeah. Simply Saka. Saka right. Facebook, Instagram, yeah, yeah. all the same. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you who want to continue sharing in his story, success story, and follow up on his work, his name on Instagram and any other platform is at Simply yeah. Saka. Thank you so much for coming on the show, thank sir. Thank you. I want we're to thank you, We're going to have too. you again. <laughs> <laughs> we are not, we hope to, we're going to have it's you again. It's a great privilege to be here. And it's a pleasure too. having you here. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.